Hey YouTube, Silver Hair Stacker here. ET, the extraterrestrial. Limited edition collector set. So I've got a question today. I made a couple of purchases at our local auction. This set was produced in 1982. What this is, is four one half ounce point nine 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 silver rounds coins and since they were produced in 1982 that's been how long ago 82 92 2002 i gotta count on my fingers <laughs> 12 and 20. So these are 41, almost 42 years old. Yeah. Let's see if I can pop them out here. And since they are 41 years old, they have massive toning on them. <laughs> it's hard to even tell a lot about the details. I mean, they're there. But they have the backgrounds, these are proof like or proof coins. And they have toned so they're not quite as bad on the backside. A little bit of smut on the case there. ET the extraterrestrial one half troy ounce nine 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 fine silver. And it's a very cool set. So you got little ET here. Look at another one. This is uh, the famous bicycle scene going in front of the moon. And the same reverse. Let's see, this one. Is E.T. Peeking around the closet door. Same reverse. And the fourth coin is E.T. coming face to face with uh, the little girl. I forget the little girl's <laughs> the actress's name. Uh, oh well, you'll tell me in the comments. So yeah. As I said, this set was for sale at our local auction and it is missing the original certificate of authenticity. This coin was produced alongside Universal Studios. And I don't know the mint. I'll have to do some research on them to see what the mint is. But I paid, let's see. So my question is, did I make a good buy or did I make a bad buy? Now, together that's two ounces of silver. So a good buy on two ounces of silver would be spot price, right? So spot price today is around 24, a little over $24. So, the silver melt value of these would be about uh, forty-eight dollars, but they shouldn't have. They should be worth quite a bit more because they're a collector, collector set, and as such, they should bring a little more premium, and I'm hoping quite a bit more because. I paid $77 for this set at the local auction. So my question is, is that a bad buy or is that a good buy? So I'll set that aside. And then I've got two more coins to look at that I got at the same auction. And we'll see how I did on those. Okay, so these two coins are graded. 
These are 2016 West Point Eagle Gold $5. First day of issue, PF70 Ultra Cameo. So they have standout characteristics. And in this year, 2016, that was the 50th anniversary of the production of Gold Eagles. And this is graded perfectly by NGC. And it's got a, uh, I don't think she signed every one of these. I think this is a copy of her signature. But she is, uh, Elizabeth Jones is the 11th chief engraver of the United States Mint. 2016. And so this was the, I believe the first year of the, uh, the new reverse on American gold and silver eagles. And this is a one tenth ounce fine gold. And this coin was uh, sent out, purchased from originally GovMint.com. I didn't buy them from GovMint. I bought these at the local auction. And uh, she's a very nice looking, handsome, handsome lady. Handsome lady. And uh, you got some uh, information from GovMint. So NGC, if you, it's free to look. Any coin that NGC has ever graded has a serial number on it on the uh, on the case that you can look up and see the grading of the coin. You can also see how many were in the same grade. And it's just a spectacular coin and it should be since it's been graded a 70. And these were the first day of issue. And they're both, both of these coins are exactly alike. So I gave $247.50 for each of these at the local auction. And you're like, well, you're crazy, silver hair stucker. You can buy a uh, one tenth ounce gold eagles for probably. $215, $220 right now. And the melt value on these is only $200. So you you ripped yourself off $47 per coin. But there is collector value because they are ultra cameo. They're graded perfect. And you get your little fancy... Uh, label there with Elizabeth Jones signature. So my question is for the ET set and the two gold eagles $77 $247 $247 Did I make a de good deal? I don't know. <laughs> Let me know in your comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Uh, yeah, this is the auction I use to buy quite a bit of my stuff that I resell on eBay to have the money to buy gold and silver. So if you've, uh, if you've watched my videos for a while or a long while, thank you very much. If you've watched for a long while, if you're a fairly new, uh, watcher or subscriber to my channel, thank you very much. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, there's a button down there to subscribe and uh, catch my videos when they come out. I also do uh, live shows mostly about uh, reselling to make money on Mondays and Fridays at 8 a.m., pretty much every weekday. And I've been doing that for two or three years now. Come and join me. So anyway, uh, tell me what you think. 
Good deal, bad deal, even deal. <laughs> I'll take even deal. But uh, so if you know me long enough, I started to say, old man switching back and forth between topics. Um, you know that I'm basically what you would call a stacker, quote, air quotes. A stacker is a person who buys gold and silver items as a savings. Um, these three items are not just gold and silver, and they have value there, but they also have a value above their gold and silver value. So then they become what's known as collectibles. I'm not a collector, so I will probably sell these on. Um, these coins will probably appear in my uh, in my YouTube or YouTube in my eBay store, and I will sell them on. If you look up uh, what each of these has sold for in the past, uh, you might get an idea of their uh, of their value above their gold and silver. So, let me know what you think. Um, I probably won't keep these for a long time because, again, they have a premium above their value as silver and gold items. I like to buy silver and gold just for the silver and gold value. So I don't need collectible coins, and I don't have a lot. I've got a few, but not a lot. Anyway... This is your Silver Hair Stacker again. Tell me what you think down below in the comments. And thank you for watching. Bye. Oh, good luck and God bless.